The Cryogenic Underground Observatory for Rare Events pronounced is a particle physics facility located underground at the Laboratori Nazionale del Gran Sasso in Asergi, Italy. Cuore was designed primarily as a search for neutrinoless double beta decay in 130 Te, a process that has never been observed. It uses tellurium dioxide crystals as both the source of the decay and as bolometers to detect the resulting electrons. Cuore searches for the characteristic signal of neutrinoless double beta decay, a small peak in the observed energy spectrum around the known decay energy. For 130 Te, this is Q equals 2527.518 plus or minus 0.013 keV. Cuore can also search for signals from dark matter candidates, such as axions and WIMPs. An observation of neutrinoless double beta decay would conclusively show that neutrinos are majorana fermions, that is, they are their own antiparticles. This is relevant to many topics in particle physics, including lepton number conservation, nuclear structure, and neutrino masses and properties. The Cuore collaboration involves physicists from several countries, primarily from the United States and Italy. Cuore is funded by the Istituto Nazionale di Fisica Nucleare of Italy, the United States Department of Energy, and the National Science Foundation of the United States. In September 2014, as part of the testing of the Cuore dilution refrigerator, scientists in the Cuore collaboration cooled a copper vessel with a volume of 1 cubic meter to 6 mK (0.006 K) (-273.144 degrees Celsius) for 15 days, setting a record for the lowest temperature in the universe over such a large contiguous volume. Topic: <laughs> Detectors. The Cuore detectors are TeO2 crystals used as low heat capacity bolometers, arranged into towers and cooled in a large cryostat to approximately 10 mK with a dilution refrigerator. The detectors are isolated from environmental thermal, electromagnetic, and other particle backgrounds by ultra poor low radioactivity shielding. Temperature spikes from electrons emitted in Te double beta decays are collected for spectrum analysis. The detectors are calibrated using 232th, the first element in a long decay chain that includes several prominent gamma rays up to 2615 keV. For the construction of Cuore, the collaboration followed several procedures to minimize radioactive contamination that can cause the detectors to register background events at energies close to the energy released in neutrinoless double beta decay. The crystals were grown by the Shanghai Institute of Ceramics at the Chinese Academy of Sciences with strict radiopurity requirements. The crystals are held in place by PTFE support in towers constructed from oxygen-free high thermal conductivity copper and were assembled under nitrogen inside gloveboxes in cleanrooms. Copper, lead, ancient low radioactivity Roman lead, and berated polyethylene are used to shield the detectors. Coincidence algorithms are also used to reject events that caused multiple channels to trigger, such as would be caused by an incoming cosmic ray muon or a gamma ray that Compton scatters in multiple crystals. History Quaricino was the first large-scale bolometer tower used for a rare event search and was operated from 2003 to 2008. It had 62 TeO2 crystals, 11 kilograms of 130 Te, with some crystals enriched in 130 Te and others with natural isotopic abundance, and some slightly larger and some smaller crystals. The tower was similar in construction to the Cuore tower, and was shielded with copper, lead, and Roman lead. Quaricino was operated near 8 mK in a relatively small dilution refrigerator. Using the results of Quaricino, the final details of the Cuore detector towers were finalized, and an assembly sequence was set up for the construction of these 19 towers. Cuore Zero was the first detector tower produced on this assembly line. It had 52 improved TeO2 crystals in a copper tower with better surface purity and significantly reduced radon and other contamination. It was operated in the Quaricino cryostat from 2013 to 2015 as a first test of the new Cuore assembly procedures as the assembly of the Cuore towers was completed. Cuore is a scaled up version of Cuore Zero, hosted in a new custom built cryostat capable of supporting a detector with a mass of approximately one ton. 
It contains 988 5 times 5 times 5 cc crystals, with 741 kg TO2, 206 kg of 130 Te. The new cryostat was constructed from extremely radiopure materials, and a large ancient Roman lead shield is used to shield the detectors. There is a 73 ton octagonal shield outside of the cryostat, constructed of lead and berated polyethylene, to reduce the number of environmental gamma rays and neutrons reaching the detector. Due to the large number of discrete detectors, cosmic ray muons can be easily excluded by rejecting events that occur simultaneously in multiple detectors. The QRA towers were installed in the cryostat in August 2016, and data taking with QRA began in May 2017. Topic: Results. Quaricino took data from April 2003 to June 2008. Final results using 19.75 kg Y of 130 Te exposure set world leading 90% limits on the 130 Te 0 NORB half-life of T0 new greater than 2.8 times 1024 years, with a background of 0.18 plus or minus 0.01, KEV kg year near the 0 NORB decay energy. Axion mass limits were also set, consistent with other experiments. The first paper detailing the initial performance of QRA0 was published in August 2014 using data taken March to September 2013, with 7.1 kg Y exposure, showing backgrounds reduced by a factor of 6 compared to CUORICINO and an energy resolution of 5.7 keV. A limit on zero NORB was presented in April 2015, combining 9.8 kg year of QRA0 exposure with the Quaricino exposure to set a new limit of T0 new greater than 4.0 times 1024 year QRA has a background goal of 0.01 counts, KEV kg Y in the zero NORB region of interest with an energy resolution goal of 5.0 KEV. After five years, QRA is estimated to have a 90% CL half-life sensitivity to zero NORB of 9.5 times 1,025 years, and an effective Majorana neutrino mass sensitivity of 0.05 to 0.13 electron volts depending on the nuclear matrix elements used. First results of the full QRA experiment were published 2018. No evidence for neutrinoless double beta decay was found. Topic. Research and development CUPID is the QRA upgrade with particle identification, a research and development project for the QRA detector. Several research groups worldwide are working to develop materials for this upgrade. CUPID aims to use new detector materials in the same cryostat as QRA. Absurd is a background surface rejection detector. Research and development project for the QRA detector. The project aims to develop a scintillating bolometer with the ability to veto ionizing background radiation. <laughs> 